At this time, I invite the children to gather around for our children's moment. Today, we'll be talking about solitude. And solitude is really a big word that basically means being alone. Have you ever felt alone before? Yeah, I think we've all felt alone. Sometimes we're physically alone, like maybe when we're by ourselves alone in our bed at night, maybe we think we hear a noise in our closet or under our bed, or maybe we're alone when we get to the cafeteria first and we sit down at the table and we wonder if anyone is going to join us. See, sometimes it can be scary. It can be hard when we're alone, especially if things around us are changing. Kind of like when we think we hear those noises at night and maybe our stomach starts not to feel right and maybe our heart starts beating faster and faster. We get worried, maybe scared. Have any of you ever felt that? Yeah, I have totally felt that way before. Sometimes we even feel alone or lonely, even when there are people all around us. Kind of like lately, like maybe we've had our brother or our sister to play with, maybe we've had mom and dad, but we haven't gotten to go to school. We haven't gotten to see our friends or play with our neighbors down the street. And so even if we're in the same room as people, it can still feel lonely. So Jesus in our scripture today, he reminds us that being alone doesn't mean that we have to feel lonely. You see, in today's scripture, Jesus feeds 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish. That's a pretty amazing miracle. But after he performs this really impressive feat, he goes off by himself. He leaves behind the 5,000 people. He leaves behind his 12 disciples. And he goes off to be alone. He goes off alone to pray. Because in solitude, when he's alone, he can best hear God. Yeah. Sometimes we need that time so that we can hear God too. And after so much activity, after going and going, feeding 5,000 people, he knows he needs some time to rest too. Yeah. And so God reminds us to do the same. Jesus reminds us to take time to be alone and in that time to spend that time with God. Because with God, we are never truly alone. So can you put your hands together? And will you repeat after me as we pray? Dear God, when we feel lonely, remind us to turn to you. Because with you, we are never alone. Amen.